a higher body, uh, this is run from Tencent. Uh, even if we participate several times in the open infra summits, and this is our first time just to do the presentation online through the video. So this year, our main goals of the Tencent uh, T-Stack is just about the hybrid cloud. So this time we present uh, uh, several ideas of um, hybrid cloud ecosystems reform the future of digital infrastructure. Um, if we talk about the digital transformation and we identify three main requirements. First, in terms of the infrastructure, we try the infrastructure should be based on cloud. This is one of the major idea. And uh, maybe just one cloud. And in some scenarios, we, we need several clouds. So secondly, we try to understand that we need a uniformed management modules or the management portals that can manage uh, different clouds together. And once we want to launch a task or to launch an application, uh, we should do the orchestration in a flexible manner. Or sometimes we call it orchestration, sometimes we call it just the scheduling in, in, in uh, flexible manners. So through this one unified management module, uh, we can manage several cloud together. And in terms of the application, they, they understand that they, they have only one cloud. This is the main idea about the, we call it the multi-cloud management systems. And once we have these multi-cloud management systems, secondly, uh, so, sorry, thirdly, uh, we try to move, try to migrate the enterprise applications on the cloud. And uh, sometimes we call it the upgrade of enterprise IT system. And this is the third requirement that we, uh, we identify. So together, first, the infrastructure should be based on cloud. Secondly, we need a unified management modules for flexible scheduling. Third, we need to migrate IT systems of the enterprise, which we try to upgrade it. This is the three main requirements of the digital transformation. And in terms of Tencent, we are a little spatial and they're different from other companies because in Tencent, at the same time, we build our private cloud and we are one of the biggest public cloud providers in the market. So we have at the same time the private cloud and the public cloud. As several years ago, we have already launched the hybrid cloud architectures in terms of Tencent. Uh, we have a private cloud based on T-Stack and we have the network, um, we have the network architecture or network modules that can bring together the private cloud and our public cloud data centers. So through this philosophies, uh, we launched the hybrid cloud several years ago, and uh, most of our internal applications are based on the hybrid cloud mode. If we take an inside look at this architecture, uh, it's a standard three-layer architecture, and um, the, in the base layers, we have the basic virtualized resources. In terms of the servers, we have a standard x86 servers based on Intel. Also, we have our self-designed self uh, servers, we call it Xing Xing Hai, which, which is based on ARM, uh, which is based on AMD. And then, uh, Two years ago, we also launched another approach that used ARM servers instead of the x86. This is the ARM server that usually some kinds of ARM version 8 servers, which can provide almost the same functionalities uh, for, the cloud, uh, for the cloud platform. And in terms of the storage, it's a standard virtualized storage, which can be based on the distributed storage or the centralized one like the FCSAN or IPSAN. And in terms of network, we have two approaches, even if either the, the software-based SDN solutions or the hardware-based SDN solutions. And upon this basic virtualized resource layer, uh, we build two categories of cloud, the public cloud and the private cloud. The public cloud is standard. It's, it's a standard public cloud that you can see in the Tencent public cloud platforms. Have we, which have has the CVM, GPUs, cores, or VPC, etc. 
and the private cloud uh, it's the intensive the cloud t-stack solutions that we have already presented in the previous summit so i i don't try to detail this part and then we have the dedicated line that can access or that can bring together the link these two clouds together upon this um, cloud layers and we have our if we call it the full ecosystem it means that we can we should also have the parts and the SaaS services for, for the power services in the public cloud we have the TKE which is for the the container and the Kubernetes and the private cloud we have a similar solution called T TCM platform and uh, in terms of the microservice uh, framework in the public cloud we have the Tencent cloud mesh and in the private cloud we have the TCM mesh also, you can see that in the, um, the whole picture, we have the uh, database, the middleware, the, the data solutions, the AI solutions, and also some SaaS solutions like WeCom and uh, WeChat, etc. All these things can, uh, um, all these things are divided into two categories: the solution for the public cloud and the solution for the uh, private cloud. And all this together, we built a whole picture about the full stack for ecosystem hybrid cloud. So uh, in terms of the um, computing power for the hybrid cloud, in, inside, on side of public cloud, the standard computings, uh, as I said, uh, it are generous computings uh, like the ARM, the AMD, the Intel, the GPU, vGPU, FPGA, etc. Upon which we have several categories of physical servers. The standard one, the high I/O ones, the, the, the physical server dedicated for the big big data or some computing intensive physical servers, and upon which you have the standard CVM or the CVM dedicated for the I.O. for big data, etc. This is a part for the public cloud. And in, for the part of private cloud, so uh, firstly, we provide a solution we call the one cloud multiprocessor. This is a solution that I will detail later. And in, through these solutions, we have one cloud platforms which can integrate uh, resources upon based on different processors, architectures like the ARM or like the x86 or like the MIPS, et cetera. And upon this layer in the private cloud, we have the multi-cloud management platforms. This means that it's a, it's a single platform that can manage several cloud together, several cloud uh, which is based on different providers, based on different um, uh, customers. Also, we have several cloud which can be even if the local private cloud or the public cloud. So you can manage public cloud together with the private cloud. And upon which we have a standard ice pass SaaS solutions which integrates all these services together uh, at the same time for the public and for the private cloud. And at the end, once we have this whole four stack, we design and uh, provide dedicated private four stack solutions for different sectors. Um, uh, just like the sectors at the financial sectors, the en energy sectors, the government sectors, etc. These are all the different solutions, the sector dedicated solutions, which are based on the full stack. Now, I detail a little about the new solution that we provide this year. So we call it the OneCloud and with multiple processor solution. OneCloud means, means that the one private cloud, the, the T-Stack solutions, which add which, as I say, at the first time, it can integrate different physical uh, processor solutions, the x86 solutions, the ARM solutions, even if the ARM processor from different uh, providers, and the, and the MIPS servers, etc. Uh, based on these um, solutions, these processors, our T-Stack can provide different resource pools with which each resource pool can can manage one kind of process architecture. And uh, this is the part, this is the layer of the processors. Upon the processors, so uh, we can have one cloud which manages several uh, different kinds of uh, physical servers uh, and the virtualized, virtualized solutions. It means that the KVM, the standard KVM, the Zen, also the VMware cloud, uh, and that sometimes we, sh we need to manage the open power, the, e the IBM open power uh, 
servers and uh, through the, the OpenStack Ironic, we can also manage the bare metal solutions. And upon the physical or the virtualized layers, we have the control layers. In the control layer, we use one cloud management module to manage different clouds, uh, cloud platforms from different providers. And in the real case, we have one, one management module so we can manage our platforms from VMware, from the other companies, etc. So from the user side, the, when they want to deploy their applications on the platforms, they only see one portals, one management modules. And through these management modules, they can select a different cloud provider's plat platform. And this can bring a very user-friendly solutions for the application that the user will want to deploy. Uh, in terms of the capacities, so the cloud service uh, self service platform, uh, we have the public cloud, we have the private cloud, we have the VPN or dedicated communication channels which can link them together. And upon this, the management services are, are almost the, the same, it means that the, for the resource management, for the organization structure, for the meeting, uh, metering and billing services, for the permission management, for lifecycle management, user management, uh, monitoring and arming, or the operation management, all these are together. And the hybrid solution, uh, the hybrid architecture uh, brings all this together. They try to provide a unified resource management uh, portals with the unified platform capacities, that's all the capacity that, that I, I presented in, in the picture. And they can unify the data governments. So from the application or from the end, end, end user side, they only see one portal, one management. And their resource that deployed it on the cloud is distributed through different cloud, different servers. This is why we um, we think that the hybrid cloud can bring a lot of advantages from the uh, from the pre um, previous mo model. Here, just a big picture about how user can see it. As you can see, there's only one portal user can see, and through this portal, they can manage different cloud, and they can have different capacities, platform capacities, and even if their data are, are governed through a unified mode. Now, um, an, another approach, when we talk about uh, hybrid cloud, I think from 2011 or 2012, we, we started to talk about hybrid cloud. At the first stage, when we talk about hybrid cloud, it's just like a, we call it the resource layer hybrid cloud. So we can manage and bring all the different resources from different cloud together in one platform. This is why we call it hybrid cloud. And now, as we all understand, the cloud moved to the second era, we call it the cloud native. Through this, we also need a hybrid cloud solution, not only for the resource, but also for the application, the cloud native application. And this is what we do this year. Through our unified um, container engines, we can um, bring all the applications together through a hybrid mode. And another very important thing is about the service capacities, the operation, the technical support. For the hybrid cloud solutions, these are done in three uh, steps. The first step we call the frontline steps. So we have our technical support uh, partners uh, with, with uh, our teams together in the data center. We try to do the IDC man maintenance. We had hardware, the network safe, and the platform maintenance together. It's at the front frontline operation, and then we call it the midline operation. It's some kinds of call centers which can, which will help to, to resolve some dedicated difficult questions and issues together through the midline uh, operation. Then we have the backline, the expert team, which can help to, to resolve the very difficult problems and issues uh, with the operational safeguard. Also, for the end users or for the users, 
we provide the training and the certification services. This means that uh, uh, you have a uh, standard trainings that you can follow. If you pass the exam, you can have the certification. Helps you to identify the high quality expertise that can help us to bring and to deployment and to maintain this hybrid solution together. This is what we present about the hybrid cloud solution of Tencent and uh, all trust Tencent cloud things we can provide we can provide a safe, standard, and uh, mature solutions for our partners. Thank you for your attention.